Hello friends, welcome back to another session of Web Technologies. In today's class, I'm going to show you how to install Java 8. Uh, we require Java 8 to install Tomcat. So I'm going to install Tomcat 8. So prior to installing Tomcat 8, you need to install Java 8. So first I will be going into the browser. So in the browser, so I'll be typing in Google. So take Google. So here in you can say like you want to download the Java version. So I am saying it Java 8 uh, to download. Okay, so for Windows, Java 8 download for Windows. So you can see that this is the Oracle website. So go to the Oracle website, Java downloads Oracle website. And right, so I want Java 8, right? So for that, go to Java Archives. So inside this, you will be getting Java versions. So I want Java 8. So just click on Java 8 over here. Okay, so, so after uh, taking, getting into this Java 8. Okay, so now pick what is the operating system of yours and click on download. Okay, so my operating system is Windows. Okay, so I am clicking on this. So it will start downloading for me. So I need to just click on um, uh, the license agreement. Okay, download JDK 8. So you need to sign into Oracle account. So you just need to create an account. So I already have created an account and I have downloaded the version. So I'll show you inside my downloads. So you can see that this is the download. And uh, you can see that this is JDK. So this is what I have already done prior to uh, this particular thing because it will take quite a while. You just need to create the Oracle site, get into that and click on download. It will automatically download for you. So it is in the downloads, right? Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm double clicking on this. So as I double click, it is asking me, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Um, you just need to click on S. Okay, so let me minimize all these things. Uh, so you can see that welcome to installation wizard. So do you want to install JDK 8? Yes. So I need to click on next. Okay, so what all you want, it is showing me here. So click on and it is showing me where it will be installed. So it will be installed in C drive program files and the path is Java and all that. So I am clicking on next. So it is installing for me. So here it is uh, giving me a kind of uh, important information. So changes are coming, which will impact your access to future releases of this Java SE from Oracle. So you just need to click on OK. And then the uh, destination folder, I'll keep it as it is. So I'm saying next. Okay, so, so it is uh, telling me that Java 8 is successfully installed. So you click on close. Okay, so I just clicked on close. Now let me go to command prompt. So let me just click on CMD. And this is the command prompt. So I just have gone to the command prompt. And I'm typing a command which is Java space hyphen version. And click on enter. So you can see Java version 1.8 has been successfully installed.
Okay, so now that uh, Java 1.8 is installed, now I need to set the environment variables. To do that, I need to go to the search and then type env. So edit the system environment variables, go to the environment variables. And then here, like inside the system variables, you just need to say new. Okay, so the variable name will be Java hyphen home. So which are all capital letters. Okay, and you need to give the variable value. Okay, so to get the variable value, uh, go to this particular my PC, go to C drive, go to program files, and click on Java, then JDK, and click on bin. So now copy this entire path. Okay, so control C and come back to the environment variables and paste the path over here and just delete this bin and backslash. So this is the part of your Java home. Now click on OK. As you click on OK, you can see that the new system variable have come and added over here. So not only this Java home, you need to add a path. So go to this particular path, click on edit and create new. Okay, so inside this new, paste the JDK folder, okay? So I already have done that. So that's the reason you already have this JDK and JRE over here. So I'm not doing it once again. So click on uh, save. So you just need to do these two things. Okay. So just. So you need to add the path over here for the JDK and also for JRE. Okay. So once you finish doing this, once you finish doing this, now click on okay okay so what are the two things that we have done the two things that we have done is we have set the path the other thing that we have done is we have actually set to the home okay so java hyphen home these are the two things that we have done path and java hyphen home once you set the environment variables now click on okay here and then click on okay on the system properties now Java is successfully installed on your system. Okay, fine. So now I'll take notepad. So take notepad. So this is the notepad and just type in a very simple program. So I'm saying class A and then uh, give public static void name. Bring the arts. Okay, so in here, I'm simply using system.out.println and I am saying hello, everyone. Okay, so I'll, I'll simply say hello. Okay, so I just have written a program. So let me save this. So I'm saving it on the desktop as a.java. Okay, so a is the name of the class as well. So now I have created this a.java. You can see that a.java is here. So go to the command prompt and then let me go to the desktop. So let me change the directory to the desktop because this A is on the desktop. Now let me say Java C hyphen A dot Java. Okay. So it successfully compiled for me and let me execute Java. So it is saying hello. So Java is successfully installed for me. So once Java 8 is successfully installed on your system, now check my next video wherein I have installed Tomcat 8 on the system. So before installing Tomcat, it is important that you install JDK 8. That's it friends. Thank you for watching.